For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to Outwalls Outdoors with me, Mike. Today we've got a bit of a review video on a new product from Camper. So this is the Camper Hailing 6 Air and also the 4 Air. So everything we're going to talk through this video basically goes through, it's the same principle whether it's the 6 or the 4. The only real difference is actually in terms of the sizing. Um, so obviously the 4 is a little bit narrower but also a little bit shorter as well. Uh, and then the 6, uh, again, is this model here. If you want to kind of get more of a feeling for the 4 Air in terms of size, you can check out our video on the TC version uh, and that gives you a perfect example of what you're looking at really. So that, that way you can sort of cross-reference things and get a feel for the internal sizes of things. So what kind of camper we've almost done is basically trying to make the hailing a bit more affordable. So with the kind of way they've designed things, they've almost sort of sculpted little things off the actual hailing, but then kept the main core things, basically trying to make it a better price point and better value. So what you've got here is now is a, uh, a 70, 68D fabric, so it's a sort of 70S denier fabric, still nice and waterproof, same sort of level we were looking previously, um, but the fact also is you've got things like, you know, the open front, so necessarily there's no longer a zip that goes along the top here, basically it's now more of an open fronted, so there's no actual additional vestibule you can buy to enclose it. What you're looking at from here, for example, is everything it is. So in many ways it's, it allows the price point to be able to say an awful lot keener what you're looking for, but you've still got a level sort of depth. What they've actually done is put this almost kind of like a semi vestibule part on it. So even though you can't close it up, you can almost do that with a windbreak, but you've got that sort of depth part there, which almost gives it more like a wraparound feel. So against the elements, again, you've got that kind of more shielded size. So that works quite nicely. And in fair, it makes the depth of the canopy look even bigger. And you've got almost, almost more kind of sheltered storage space out there as well. You've got main big PVC windows to obviously allow plenty of light to come through. You've got this sort of high visibility guidelines as well to sort of get that sort of nice, well, obvious place of not tripping over. Um, there are additional sort of storm straps you can buy that you can go off the front and the back, so they are an, an optional and extra, but you've still got each beam turned individually, so it's very quick and easy to put it up. You can see from our own Atwalls pitching and packing videos how simple, quick and simple it really is. I mean, I think the Hailing 6 have done in my own the best part of maybe about eight or nine minutes. So that means you can take something like this away for a week or even a weekend if need be. You've got a side mesh door as well as here. And that's one thing you do benefit is you've got a sort of side mesh door and a front mesh door. So in terms of ventilation, you can get airflow coming in and also out the main part of it as well. Also what you find is that in terms of the interior heights, it's kind of quite a boxy feel, but we'll sort of definitely come into that more when we have a look on the inside in just a moment. Other things to mention is that you've also got these kind of webbing pegging straps down the bottom. So you can get the main four corners really nice and tensioned uh, and get it sort of looking really nice and taut. Uh, and again, adjust that as and when you need to. And that kind of, as I mentioned previously, that little extra section at the front just helps to stop the wind coming in from the side. So I think it's quite a nice little model, but let's have a look on the inside and talk through some more features that the Hailing has to offer. So now inside the Hailing, you kind of get a bit more of an idea for sort of the space we've got inside. And like I said, having that sort of canopy depth on Certainly the, uh, the six and the four actually share the same canopy depth. So it's about two meters deep. So that's a hefty sort of depth, which is perfect for instead of putting things like a cook cooking unit and that sort of stuff in there as well. Um, so you've got, you know, decent sort of size. Okay, you haven't got the enclosed front, but like I said earlier, a windbreak will certainly sort that out. Um, but overall, great interior heights. Like I said, when the four and the same with the six, I can pretty much stand up right to the side. So that really helps to make, even though it might be a, a 380 wide on the six or 280 wide on the uh, four, it feels bigger because the walls are almost a bit further away from you. So this sort of design helps to make it feel quite nice and spacious, which is what we really want. So what you can also buy is, is a footprint you can buy. Uh, when you buy the footprint, you get the main two sections. So you get the sort of the main under one for the, the sewing and ground sheet section, and then the canopy one as well. So that comes almost as a pair. Moving away from sort of the front and sort of the windows you're gonna see on the side, you've got a divisional section into the main living there. Now, traditionally in camper style, what you've got is this kind of lip up, lip down door, which is brilliant. It means that suddenly you can either have it sort of sealed and it Velcros to things like the, uh, the doors on the front, or you lip that down, you lose your trip hazard, uh, and then you benefit, you know, it, it means that you can push chairs and wheelchairs happily in and out the front door. The two front doors you have, you've got a solid panel one. What you've also got is a mesh door as well. So you've got a sort of a, a front lined barrier. So that will then Velcro to it. So 
you're a frontline barrier against sort of bugs and critters. So when you're in here and you've got sort of a, a light on at night, you haven't got to worry about them kind of spoiling the party in many ways. You've also got one which we saw on the other side, which is on the side door. And because the six has kind of got this almost like two bay section, you've got tons and tons of room in here for, you know, and maybe it might be a slight push for six people, but for say a family of four or a family of five, I think you've got adequate room. You can almost have a, uh, a sort of a storage unit. Come on, fingers work together. So you've got a storage unit sort of put in here and then there's plenty of room for sort of tables and chairs and you can, obviously you can make it as versatile as you want to and lay out how you want to, but the main thing is obviously size in here is quite generous, which is brilliant. When we come into, it feels bigger as well, I think just because the height, that's one I said that height is very much an underestimation in terms of making it feel nice and big. Yeah, I like it. Uh, where were we? Bedrooms. So, um, bedroom itself, you've got a sort of darkened bedroom which works really well. So it means that hopefully when you wake up, uh, whenever you do, you're not woken up by the sun. It means hopefully kids will stay in bed a little bit longer as well, which is more important. The bedroom scenario is basically split into a, a three and a three. So 180, 180, which means it's almost lends itself perfectly to give you sort of a two person, two person with a good amount of space side. So if you want kind of your sort of master bedroom there um, for sort of, you know, the parents, Kids can go in there either side and have almost like a gap down the middle, which they can use then to come in and out. So that works really, really nicely. Bedrooms itself can pretty much be laid in place at all times. And you've also got color coordination as well. So if you want to take them out, you can put them back in and not have to worry about what goes where. Between the two sections, you've got a divider as well. So it means that you can obviously um, get that privacy from the next people to you. Uh, alternatively, you take it out and have it as one big bedroom. And, I'll grab the camera in just a moment, have a little walk through and talk through a few more features about it as well. Um, but you've still got main core things. So kind of what they kind of done, like I said, is almost took away some of the sort of the detail-y things like the, the zip curtains replaced with toggle curtains, the zip dividers replaced with uh, toggle dividers. Um, you know, you haven't got any pockets for it. But then suddenly you've got a much more kind of better value product. So something that's designed to sort of, again, hit that very keen price point, If you, as I said before. If you like the sort of last year's spec, we do possibly have a few of them actually floating around on our website, so you can always check that below. And again, because it's previous year's model, there'll be a, some sort of reduction on that, which would be not too dissimilar to what probably this model would be at, just because of the year's differences. You've still got things like a hanging point for a lantern, as well as little Velcro tabs leading down to a, a cable entry point down the bottom. So like said, these main sort of bread and butter items that, or bread and butter things you need in a tent, you still do. And you've also got this little Velcro part on the inside of the beam, so you can put campy, campers flexible saber lights in there. So that can then strip in there. You can have one, two, three, running off a single socket, and it allows light to go directly down, but then you've got a remote control as well, so you can alter the brightness as well. So again, it's, it's small things like that that do make quite a big difference. Let's pick up the camera and have a little walk through the tent and kind of get more of a feel for the actual size inside. So, like I said, the main thing I, I, I do really like about it is that sort of canopy depth. So, like I said, two meters deep with that kind of wrap around kind of wing. I call it wings, so it feels like a wing. Um, works really nicely. And again, you've got that kind of lip down, lip up door. And as we sort of walk through here, you see, you see how dark those bedrooms are. I want to go inside of it, for example, let's go through there and through the divider. So, you can see quite nice and dark in there. It's still not obviously the darkest that's on the market, but it does a job. You've got things like storage pockets located in either side of the bedroom as well. So you put things like keys or phones or uh, torches for that matter quite happily in there so you haven't got to worry about it. The divider, as you can see, toggles in place. So you can just simply remove that open, open that up, and then you're in through to the other side. Hanging point is lanterns as I talked about previously. So we've got a hanging point located kind of there. Velcro leading down the, rungs, down the lines. Velcro tabs leading all the way down the bottom beams. And then we've got a cable entry point just beneath that point there. And again, so you've got a second load of more toggle points leading up to another hanging point there and another hanging point there. So really nice and flexible. And also because you've got the sort of window scenario, you can have sort of a view around the campsite. So you've got the main kind of windows looking out. And again, that mesh sort of side door. But for me, it's kind of, like I said, more down to sort of the interior height side of things and the space. That sort of two beam area in the main sort of living area, just gives you plenty of room to put all your kit. And you've got 220 centimeter bedroom, so a slightly 
a little bit deeper bedrooms than basic models will have, um, but it quite works. So benefits, of course, obviously it's, it's inflatable, pitched on your own in the best part of eight minutes. It's 68D, so it's a good sort of level of material, waterproof, uh, very spacious, and again, very keen on price. And you can always check the link below. It'll take you directly through to our website with our current deals we've got on the go on the four and the six, um, as well as uh, more information about sort of the sizing of everything and the layout. So you can always check that out as well. But I think definitely a good model for the sort of 2021 season. Something a little bit different. You kind of got the kind of a hailing-esque feel. Um, but certainly a, a better price. Um, and there are still sort of Healing S products that have that high level of spec that we've kind of previously known and loved. Um, but I feel this is more trying to sort of make it more affordable in the designs. So it has its place in the market. I think it will do quite well, to be fair. Um, or fairly, if you like this, we want the high spec, then buy Lash's model. That's the other alternative as well. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of our little video review on the Camper Healing 4 Air, 6 Air, uh, for the 2021 season. So thanks again for watching. For more information, follow the link. If you want more, you know, let us know what you think of it as well. Check little comments in the box below uh, and see where it sort of lies, really. See you again.